Good morning everyone, um, Daily Bible Reading. Today we come to Genesis 39 and after the uh, unpleasant series of incidents that we learn about Judah and his family yesterday in Genesis 38, we return to the account of what is going on in Joseph's life. Joseph has been sold as a slave and the slave traders have brought him down into Egypt and sold him. And he's in the household of this uh, officer of Pharaoh Potiphar. He is obviously a very able person, a very able administrator. He is also blessed by God. He gets to the position where he's in charge of Potiphar's household, but Potiphar's wife decides that she wants to have sex with him and attempts to force him to do it. When he declines, she accuses him of rape or attempted rape, and he is imprisoned, waiting presumably an even more unpleasant punishment. But in time he is brought to a position where he is the most trusted inmate and is in charge of everything in the prison, um, which is where we will leave him at the end of Genesis 39. And this shows the provision of God, the remarkable provision of God in sending Joseph to Egypt, where he will eventually, through God's blessing, raise to be in a position to save his family whenever the great famine comes and also to provide his family with a place in Egypt where they will grow into a great nation. God uses all this adversity and all this difficulty in Joseph's life to raise him up to a place where he will be the agent of the fulfillment of God's promises. God provides for his people. Genesis chapter 39, this is God's word. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer over his house, and over all that he had, had he put into his hand. And it came to pass from the time that he made him overseer in the house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all he had in the house and in the field. And he left all he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not aught he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favoured. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused, and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wotteth not what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I. Neither hath he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? It came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business, and there was none of the men of the house there within. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. He left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. And it came to pass, when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, that she called unto the men of her house and spake unto them, saying, See, he hath brought in an Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it came to pass, when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. And she led up his garment by her until his Lord came home. She spake unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou hast brought in unto us came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass, as I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled out. And it came to pass, when his master heard the words of his wife which he spake unto him, saying, after this manner did thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound. And he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favour in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand because the Lord was with him. And that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. 